the El Paso firefighters, the first responders for fire and medical emergencies, are now taking on the flu. The Sadie Fire Department's Safety and Health Outreach Center is running a program that offers free flu vaccinations at a neighborhood fire station. The idea being that fire stations are welcoming, people that are comfortable going to fire stations, they're not going to fear that they're going to get billed or, you know, have some kind of background check done on them or something to that effect. Um, so we can have it anywhere in the city. This is the second year for the program called Vaccinations for Health, which expects to provide more than 1,000 vaccinations this flu season. And actually, we're, right now we're operating on extensions to the original program. The original program actually ended um, in 2016, but we've had two extensions because it works. We've proven to the, the government that people are using it, and, um, and so they've given us extra funding to, to continue this outreach. Uh, so it's a year-long program. Um, the flu season, traditionally, we think of it as a early winter activity, but actually the uh, influenza numbers actually increase and, and spike um, in February and extend through March and April at times. The Safety and Health Outreach Center, known as The Shock, is located in central El Paso at the intersection of Chelsea and Trowbridge. This is a central location, and as you saw coming in, um, you know, this is a very good location. Centrally located, easily accessible from uh, everywhere in our community. Uh, we understand that some people don't have the means to be able to get out here, so... Um, the Vaccinations for Health program will run through March of this year. Every Wednesday we'll be here at the shop um, providing the, the wellness uh, clinics. Um, so just, again, Facebook, the media will, will educate the, uh, uh, our community on when the events are going to occur and where. We're also going to expand a little bit and get out to other parts of the city, especially during this heightened uh, sense of fear that our community is having so we'll get that information to our community but um, that information is available about our main phone numbers 212-5600 uh, get that information there through Facebook um, and the website also so this is Eddie Castro reporting for Borderzine